Story mode. Hi, my name is Dylan. I'm a dog with an overly intense passion for jumping. Recently, my awesome father passed away, which sucks, but he was the coolest dad ever. He used to yell, score, baby, whenever something rad happened, like divorcing my mom. He was also a famous jump master when he was younger and traveled the world with his strange best owl friend, Levi, who's over there, actually. Uh, hi there. He's been training me up the past few months so I can carry on my father's legacy and become the best jump master the world has ever seen. I want to make my dad proud so he can brag to all the other ghosts out there. <laughs> That, and for some reason in his will, he demanded I become a jump master and collect every badge, otherwise the house and all his life savings will go to his half-sister Sally, who is also over there. <laughs> so now it's time to get jumping. Woohoo! I, I just asked what your opinions were about bacon. Oh, delicious. You ready to rock, my boy? You betcha, Sensei. <laughs> it's futile, silly boy. The vault full of dog treats may as well already be settling in my belly. We'll see about that, Sally. <laughs> you sorely underestimate us. Yeah, I'm not worried. Should I be worried? Maybe a little. Yeah, I'm just a little worried. Clock's ticking, boys. Bad luck now. Hmm. <laughs> Pay no attention to her. With my training and your father's genes, you are unstoppable! We'll make your father proud. Now, let me know who you want to challenge first, old boy. I'll meet you over there. What's up, Dylan? It's a no-no, Joey, even obtained the title of Jumpmaster. <laughs> I heard rumors it was for some sort of award for yelling at old people. I don't know. Regardless, he is the current holder of a Jumpmaster badge, and that's all we care about. His last known whereabouts was in a war zone. He's protecting a tree there, so keep your wits about you, kid, and expect anything. You should just surrender! Nah, -uh, you surrender! I want to mourn the loss of all the old growth trees I've seen and tell them that we love them and we don't want them to die. <laughs> and, and that there are some people who do care. So, I want you to know that, trees! Hey! We're in the midst of a darn war here, you darn ninny gangler! <laughs> I won't let anything happen to you. <laughs> my love! Joey, in the name of me, I, Dylan, that's my name, wish to undergo your jump rope challenge and receive the jump badge of honor. Is that a challenge accepted? Move in! Uh, hi! Jump! Fire! Jump! Fire! Trees! Jump!
need to mourn! Yeah!
badge now? All right, that's one more for me. See you, oh great master Joey. Ha, huh? you think that little badge means anything? <laughs> Can you hear my laugh? It means I think that badge doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Bad luck. Where do you want to go? Trudy is a fearsome warrior, a leader with a mighty fiery rage. <laughs> Trudy attained the jump master title some years ago, and has instead opted not to jump but to utilize traps and fire to test her challenges. Which is admittedly barely any. A minuscule number of challengers even make it to her, let alone get to dodge the flames. <laughs> Be careful, my boy. of my lair. Well, it certainly wasn't any of those guys. <clears throat> my name is Dylan, and I have come to earn a jump badge from you, Jump Master Trudy. Ah, well met. Not many beings succeed in accomplishing such a feat. The title and skill of Jump Mastery has been passed down through the ages in my tribe. Only the chosen ones who can fan the flames of fate may enter the bulletin board of names who have succeeded in the fate of the destiny trial of prophecy. Right. Best my challenge, young traveler, and you may forever be forged in the pages of history. A trinket for your efforts will be bestowed. If you fail, however, you will participate in a sacrifice ritual and sacrifice your life to the flame gods. Blah, blah, blah. It's not important. Wait, what? Begin! <laughs> it is time! Yeah!
Feel the burn! 
This is a rather disappointing outcome. My apologies, my fellow flame friends. No ritual will be occurring this night. Maybe next time we may be more fortunate. Oh. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. I guess I'm good at this. Sorry. Behold, the flame badge of Jump Mastery. You have proven yourself to the gods and will forever become intertwined within these walls. I am honored, Jump Master Trudy. Now leave this place, young master. Fulfill your destiny! Oh, and watch your step on the way out. Pretty sure there's a few stone steps that activate poison-filled arrows, which will leave you in agony for weeks until you eventually break down and wither from this world. All right, thanks for the heads up. Two? <laughs> I eat two bagels for breakfast. And I could eat way more, so trust me when I say, kid. That's a pretty low number. Bad luck. Hey! Well, this seems to be the place, I guess. Hello? I'm looking for Jumpmaster Carla? Uh, that's with a K, just to avoid confusion. Huh. Suppose she's powdering her nose or something. Eh, I'm sure she won't mind if I take it easy until she gets back. Uh, it's always so much better when it's somebody else's pool. Do that. Killing my vibes, man. Holy cow! Ugh, moron. I'm a dolphin with a D, just to avoid confusion. Oh, I'm far from confused, just in pain. My name is Dylan, and I am here to undergo your challenge, Jumpmaster Carla. How riveting. I live for this. Wow, you've really sucked the fun out of this pool. There's a reason why I'm trying to avoid detection, genius. I'm bored of being challenged. Sick of the vibes, man. Being a jump master isn't what it's cracked up to be. When I was younger, I used to play piano, you know, with my nose. I was going to be a pianist. Now look at me, jumping around like I'm a sideshow freak. My soul feels more empty than the gaze in my eye. Oh, cool. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. Here we go. Jump! Mm-hmm. 
love this. Congratulations, you beat my really difficult challenge. I'm uncontrollably happy for you. Take this token of great significance. Have a great life. And that's life with an L. Yeah, an L for you, maybe. What? Farewell, Jumpmaster Carla! Oh, I get it now. Three may be a magic number, but it's still not even halfway there. Are you trying to lose on purpose? No, seriously, are you? I would give you 2% of the dog treats if you considered it. Think it over, yeah, kid? Bad luck! Matsuki is the real deal, so make sure you mind your P's and Q's, and every other letter in the alphabet. He tells his challengers to solve a riddle and search him out in this super secret forest. And my golly, it took me and your father hours before we figured it out. Just remember the riddle I taught you, and I know you will find a way. What was the clue to finding Jump Master Matsuki again? Oh, oh right! A forest so hidden, so secret, that only the one who can decipher the riddle of the smiling tree may locate this sacred place. This couldn't be the place, could it? This is the place. No way it could be. Oh well, I tried! Oh, chosen one, if you are indeed a brave soul of legend, step this way. Okay! No! The other way! Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> yes. That's it. Walk forward toward your destiny. Other than that... Uh, this is a lot of walking for a Jump Master badge. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha-ha! <laughs> it is I, Jump Master Matsuki. You are here for the really cool special treasure, are you not? The Jump Master badge? Uh, right. The super secret hard to get treasure that I don't give out to anyone all the time, no way. I, Dylan the Best, it's a working title, challenge you, Master Motsky. It is I who challenge you. If you wish to pray to the Jump Gods and receive the badge of awesomeness, prove your worth. 
Is that a carrot? You speak ear of a god? Prepare yourself! Boy. Coming at you! Yeah! Say something deep! Jump! Destiny awaits! Succeeded, Diran. You may go and retrieve your prize now. No! What have you done? I was just enjoying a light lunch. You are a dark spawn! Spawn of the dark ones! Huh. Most of my friends just call me Dylan. If it would forever banish you from my sight, then take it. Be gone with your dark spawn! Just Dylan is fine. See you around, Jumpmaster Motsky. Hmm, not bad. Halfway? <laughs> That's like watching halfway through a movie. A movie in which the middle act isn't impressive at all. I'm not worried, kid. You keep dreaming. Bad luck! How's it going, Dylan? Natasha is as green as they come, experience-wise, that is. She's fresh on the jump master scene after mastering her family's famous cannonball flip maneuver. <laughs> I don't know what to expect here, but if she has now command of the pirate fleet, I suspect you may have more than her to deal with. Oh, I miss the days when you just had to jump five times to receive a badge. Finally! That was an adventure in and of itself trying to find this ship. What a big beach. What did you just call me? Huh? Uh, oh, oh, I found you! You're Natasha, a jump master! Tiptoe the old plank, you wee... Sausage masher? Me ship is a place only for... Uh, niceness! Arg, scurvy, got a pillage, and yeah, pillage! <laughs> Have I come at a bad time? Oh, my bad. This is my first week as a Jumpmaster badge holder. <laughs> oh, please don't judge me too hard. Of course not! Congrats on the position! I'm just here to collect my badge, as my name is Dylan, and I am traveling the lands to mature and prosper as the world's most supreme jump ropist the world will have ever and probably maybe will have seen! Yeah! You're actually my first client, or 
customer or challenger? Oh, this world makes no sense. I'll be sure to make this a momentous occasion for you, Natasha. Uh, um, do I just, uh... Hey, that, you scallywagger! Watch out! Oh, I mean, die! Jump! Oops! Jump! Yar! a phrase my father used to scream when watching the slot races. I kind of stole it. Ha ha ha, thief! He died. Uh, I, I mean, not not thief, a lovely dog who, uh, in, in his father's memory, uh... It's fine, really. This is one heck of a first day. I bestow, uh, upon you, sir... Dylan! David, the badge of the jump master. So with this badge, you may jump past any foes and uh, just take the badge. Thank you. I help you adjust to your new lifestyle. Have a good one, Natasha. Goodbye, David. Okay, I will admit that's quite a few badges now. More than I ever thought you would get anyway. Not that I care. Five isn't eight, and eight isn't five. You get the idea. Bad luck! Well, 
Where do you want to go? Annie started with nothing. Like most rats, she smelled badly. But that smell clearly didn't stop her becoming the biggest crime lord of the century. Oh no. <laughs> Loyalty is her game and stealing a jump master badge is also her game. The jump master league isn't about to trifle in her affairs, so you can bet jumping won't be the only thing on the menu. Just remember your street smarts, kid. Please don't! Don't shoot me, man! I didn't say nothing! I didn't get my coffee yet, either! What kind of day even is this? Please! Hmm. You like watching movies? I like rom-com movies. Rat in love? Kissing a rat? Kissing a rat too, maybe? Rat a cake? Come on, man, you gotta like rom-com movies! Just keep that rat mouth of yours shut till the boss gets here. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas. Hmm? Hey, Annie, you gotta listen to me. I did nothing. I ain't the freaking rat. Is that so? From where I'm standing, you look like a rat to me. Unless you think I'm stupid. You think I'm stupid? No, 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 no. You, you know what I mean. The, the, the different contexts. I mean, obviously, I'm a rat rat, but I'm not a rat. I mean, I am a rat, but I'm a, I'm a rat rat, that kind of rat. You like rom-com movies, boss? Yeah, yeah, I do, actually. Tell you what, I just ain't big on goodbye scenes, though. Especially awkward ones where they gotta clean up your corpse afterwards. No, Eddie, please! You gotta listen to me! I, I ain't the rat! I mean, I'm a, I'm a rat rat, but I ain't the rat! You're definitely a rat, right? Unless I read the wrong animal books as a child. Hey, who's this guy? Me? I'm Dylan! I'm traveling the globe to challenge Jump Masters. I will get every badge if it's the last thing yeah, I- Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can spare me the details, little poochie. What do you want us to do with him, boss? Ain't it obvious? We've had a hard day's work today. I'd say we blow off some steam. How's about me and you play a little game? Sounds awesome! I am so down! If you win, I'll spare Movie Boy over there, and you get your badge. His life is in your hands. But if you lose... Well, let's just say you don't really want to lose. Wait, you joshing me? This is going to be fun! Whoa! Show me the moves of yours! Jump! My coffee! Hey, boss, I'm finally back! <laughs> Dance for me? <laughs> 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 
to dance for me? Fun. Huh, what do you know? The little pooch at a home run. Hey, you, give the kid his badge. Here, the boss says thanks. No, no, she didn't. Just take the badge, you mook. Score, <laughs> baby! Now go on, get out of here, both of yous, before I change my mind, capiche? Sure thing. I've got a jet anyway. Got a dentist appointment to uphold. Laters! Well, go on. What are you waiting for? I don't have a walking animation. Useless. Impudent kid! How are you getting these? Huh? Huh? <clears throat> I'm an adult. We don't lose our cool or concern ourselves with small matters. And you're a very small matter with your small collection of badges. <clears throat> I need a drink. Bad luck! How's it going, my boy? I never saw eye to eye with Angus. Literally. Not only is he a rude twonker, he uses his precious time to play cursed video games. I don't even know if he accepts challenges anymore, but I know that won't stop you. Don't leave there empty-handed, my boy. Put an end to his madness! Are you here for a home viewing? Dang it, we haven't prepared at all! Everyone grab a mop! No. No, 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 no! I'm just a lowly jump master batch hunter. I couldn't compare to a house viewer. Phew! Abort mission with the mobs, fellas! <laughs> We're trying to move out as soon as possible. The neighbors can be real loud, let me tell you. You should see him at the weekends. Well, hopefully I won't have to, because I, Dylan, who doesn't have a last name for some reason, Challenge you, Jump Master Angus, to earn your badge. Uh, hello, Jump Master Angus? Quiet! I'm playing Goonscape. Goonscape? I think that game was released before I was even born. Quiet! Ugh, this is the exact reason why I moved out here in the first place. I just want to be left alone with my Goonscape. I am a king. Kings get what they want. Do you have an eye disorder, or a phobia of eye contact, or something? SILENCE! I mean quiet! Yes, quiet is a way better and more fitting word if you ask me. Fine. Challenge accepted. Go on, my penguin slaves. Do my bidding. No. I suppose this'll have to do. It's nothing personal, kid. Jump! Escape, yes. Jump! Peasants.
presence. Nothing can compare to Goonscape. Hi. Keep him occupied, please. No. Peasants. Upset, Your Highness. Sorry if I damaged your pride. No! I'm upset because I've only leveled up my tree chopping skills three times in the past hour! That's one down from my usual five! What is this world coming to? Wow, Goonscape got people messed up. Hey, take the badge and get out of here. We got house viewers showing up. Score, baby! Good luck with the tree chopping, Your Highness. This neighborhood! Ah! This isn't going to happen, you know. Dreams are made to be crushed, and so are dog treats. When I crush them in front of you both! Give up now while you still can, kid. Or so help me. Bad. I still can't believe how much I love rom-com movies, man. Kiss by a red, kiss in a red, red in love, ready on the Reddington. There's so many rom-com rap movies, but the thing is, none of them are actually reds in a sense that they're a red red, if you know what kind of red I'm talking about. The thing is, the more I talk about rom-com movies, the more I feel like I'm in love. The more I feel like I'm an actual red. No, that's not true. I'm not a well, I am a rat. Technically I'm a rat. Look, the thing is, I'm I'm hungover right now. I'm really hungover doing this recording. It's 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 12 p.m. and last night I drank too much white and red wine. I mixed them together, and that was a bad idea. So now I'm hungover. I am so hungover, and I'm screaming in my recording booth because the original line I used on the PC version of this game. Game. Go, go, jump. Yeah, I'm breaking the fourth wall here. I don't even care. The original line, I was going off about some movies that I can't discuss right here because I had to redo the line right now. So I've got to ram for about five minutes to replace the line for the console versions. Can I even say console versions? Can I even acknowledge? I don't even know what I can and can't say anymore. I don't know who I am. I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is I'm a red. I'm a red who's breaking the fourth wall. So I guess I am a red because I'm redding on the fact that I am a red and I'm redding on the fact that I've got to do this for five minutes, which I'm going to struggle. Because like I said, I'm hungover, and I'm tired, and my voice hurts. I've been throwing up all morning. Seriously, I've been throwing up all morning. The red wine was pouring out of me. 
I mean, damn, I couldn't sleep. My head was pounding. This is one of the worst hangovers I've ever had. And here I am recording this line again for a second time for this specific version of this game. So you know what? That's the pain that us game developers go through. That's the pain that we have to endure. That's the pain. It's not really, let's be, it's not really pain. Let's be honest. I mean, this is kind of fun. I ain't gonna lie. I like yelling into a mic microphone in my booth. I'm spitting everywhere. This this spit all over my monitor. I can see I have to wipe it off while I'm screaming right now. You can probably hear me trying to wipe it off. There's literal spit everywhere. That's the problem with being a rat. You start spitting. And I don't mean spitting like, you know, I'm a rapper and I can spit bars. No, I just spit. All I do is spit all day, all night, all evening. Did I say night? Because I do it at nighttime too. Did I say day? Because daytime, I'm always spitting. I ain't spitting no fire though. I'm just spitting. Spitting, spitting, spitting. It's all I do. Listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm tired, I'm hungover, I need to get out of here. I've broken the fourth wall. This might be the worst thing I've ever done in my life. So thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to my nice little rants. The, 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 the new version, that is, is a different version. I'm running out of breath, honestly. I, I need the toilet so bad. I'm holding in a pee right now. I really need to go to the toilet. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really need to go. Damn, can I make this to the five minutes? You know what, I'm gonna keep going because I've got to get to five minutes and 30 seconds and right now it says I'm on three minute and 49 seconds. So the more I go, the more I need to be. And the more I need to be, the more I'm gonna be myself. Yeah, I said it, I said it. I said I I'm gonna be myself in my booth right now while I'm spitting everywhere, while I'm spitting at my monitor, and I'm spitting all over my my microphone and my puff shield filter, whatever you wanna call it, okay? All I know is I'm a rat and I like warm comms. That's basically my idea for this character. It's not a lot of depth to him. Let's be honest, he's just a green rat, and he is a rat, but he's not an actual rat. That's basically the whole premise of this character. And it's weird how this character, for some reason, has a lot of screen time compared to some of the other characters. I mean, he's not even a main character. He's not even a boss. I mean, sorry, I'm not a boss. What am I talking about? He is me, the green rat. I mean, why is this character everywhere? Why is he ranting? Why is he in the background doing all this stuff? He's got more dialogue, I think, in the cutscene than Annie does. What am I doing? Why did I write it that way? It's funny as well, because that was the first one I wrote. That's why I think tonally it's so different and weird compared to the other cutscenes. Listen, I'm going on a ram right now. This is about me spitting, needing to pee. I've got 20 more seconds of this hungover nightmare. Let's go. Come on. We're almost there. Let's just keep it going. Let's just keep this going. We're about to get there. Wait a minute. What, what, what was I saying again? I still can't believe how much I love rom-com movies, man. Kissed by a rat, kissing a rat, rat in love, ratty on the Raddington. There's so many rom-com rap movies, but the thing is, none of them are actually rats, in a sense that they're a rat rat, if you know what kind of rat I'm talking about. The thing is, the more I talk about rom-com movies, the more I feel like I'm in love. The more I feel like I'm an actual rat. No, that's not true. I'm not a well, I am a rat. Technically I'm a rat. Look, the thing is, I'm I'm hungover right now. I'm really hungover doing this recording. It's 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 12 p.m. and last night I drank too much white and red wine. I mixed them together, and that was a bad idea. So now I'm hungover. I am so hungover, and I'm screaming in my recording booth because the original line I used on the PC version of this game. Go, go, jump. Yeah, I'm breaking the fourth wall here. I don't even care. The original line, I was going off about some movies that I can't discuss right here because I had to redo the line right now. So I've got to ram for about five minutes to replace the line for the console versions. 
Can I even say console versions? Can I even acknowledge? I don't even know what I can and can't say anymore. I don't know who I am. I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is I'm a rat. I'm a rat who's breaking the fourth wall. So I guess I am a rat because I'm ratting on the fact that I am a rat and I'm ratting on the fact that I've got to do this for five minutes, which I'm going to struggle. Because like I said, I'm hungover, and I'm tired, and my voice hurts. I've been throwing up all morning. Seriously, I've been throwing up all morning. The red wine was pouring out of me. I mean, damn, I couldn't sleep. My head was pounding. This is one of the worst hangovers I've ever had. And here I am recording this line again for a second time for this specific version of this game. So you know what? That's the pain that us game developers go through. That's the pain that we have to endure. That's the pain. It's not really, let's be, it's not really pain. Let's be honest. I mean, this is kind of fun. I ain't gonna lie. I like yelling into a mic microphone in my booth. I'm spitting everywhere. This this spit all over my monitor. I can see I have to wipe it off while I'm screaming right now. You can probably hear me trying to wipe it off. There's literal spit everywhere. Where do you want to go? Oh Clive, such a tragic waste of potential. Me and your father knew Clive when he was sprightly, unmatched in his booty-bound technique he was, a jumper master to his very core. Unfortunately, his mission to space changed all of that. We warned him it was a mistake to send a monkey into space all alone, and you'll see the good it has done him. He locks himself away in his club, wallowing, his mind lost to the fairies, so to speak. Maybe you can get through to him, young Dylan. Maybe you can achieve what me and your father failed to do. Freeze! This is VIA only! But I am an important animal! Everyone and everything is important in this world! We are all individuals who make a small difference, be it small or big, and I said small toys, and I ruined that, huh? The only important animal here is me! When I kick you behind harder than anything you're behind has ever felt! There ain't nothing, nothing in the seven depths of purgatory that'll kick you in there! I'm here for a jump master badge. Oh, no way, that's cute, head on through. Who is it? Who is it? I said I didn't want any visitors! Leave me alone with my thoughts! Hey, hi. I'm here about a badge. It's my dream to collect them. Gotta collect them all. Get the badge! Ugh, what? Oh, one of them stupid annoyances. One of them dreamers. I had a dream once. A dream! A goal! A career! What's that? Ugh, maybe I should shoot you off into the cosmos, huh? Leave you floating around aimlessly in the shuttle and see how you like it! How you like it? I'm down. I could do with a vacation. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You're only ever gonna see this badge in your dreams! Your dreams! Take me away!
horrible person! Animal, whatever! Maybe I should have never used that escape pod! Let myself rot in there! You're a very depressive monkey. You don't know, kid. You don't know! This world, this world is different! It ain't like theirs! This dimension, it's all wrong! We shouldn't be like this! Someone take me away from here! Here's your badge. Don't give up on your dreams, kid. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Get out of here! Sure thing! Just gotta keep that dream alive, kid. Uh, sorry, again, I couldn't hear you. Just leave! I've done it, Sensei! I've done it! All the badges are mine! <laughs> yeah! Oh, my ears. Yes, you're amazing, Dylan boy! <laughs> I had no doubt whatsoever you'd succeed. Come on, I want to see what my dad left me in the vault! These badges are the key to open it, right? As far as I know, my boy. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Dylan. I really am. Brings a tear to this crusty old owl's eye. Aw, oh, don't cry, Sensei. You can cry later. True! <laughs> You let me know when you want to get going, Dylan. Sure thing! I still can't believe how much I- Where to next? Oh, Sally. I suppose you'll never change. You can bet your britches she's gonna bob up sooner or later at that vault. If I'm honest, I think Sally was just spoiled rotten. She got what she wanted, was never told no, and she's only ever had one goal in life. Acquire currency. <laughs> to each their own, of course, but when those endeavors affect someone negatively, well, that really ruffles my feathers. She probably feels backed into a corner by now, so who knows what she can do? Let's be careful. I'm so excited! Oh, I bet! Especially with all the things you're going to inherit. Huh? I don't care about the grown-up stuff, like the house and the money. I just hope there's some rad stuff left in there. Maybe his hat. Then I can still have his scent near me whenever I go. You really warm my heart, Dylan. Oh, look who it is. A dried-up old man and his golden ticket. Sally! Sally, what are you doing here? This is Dylan's moment! He's earned every badge. Oh, I bet he has. I can only imagine why you decided to train up this pup. You just want some of that moolah, don't ya? Moolah? What's that? You're so wrong, Sally. Not everything has to be about money, you know. I'm helping Dylan to attain his goals. I made a promise. <laughs> what a bold-faced lie! Everything is about money! You think I'll let you take that away from me? Sally, I don't really get what your deal is here, but I just want to open this vault and see what Dad left me. You want to ruin my life that badly? Then you'll need to go through me and my money. Uh, Sensei! Don't worry about me. You've got this, my boy. Do your worst, Sally. Bad luck! Everything you know. Yes. Time to pay. This is making me thirsty. Yeah! 
a nice person, Sally. You hurt Master Levi. You don't care about my dad. Well, I'm opening this vault whether you like it or not. But why? Ted, I got all the badges. Good job, idiot. You failed miserably. <laughs> Keys accepted. Voice password required. Huh? Score, baby! Gosh, the security in this place. Uh, can someone take her away, please? Thank you. Dylan, you worked so hard. Step inside. It's empty? Wait! The hat. He left it for me! It smells just like Dad! Oh, there's a recording device here. Give it a play, my boy. Dylan, if you're listening to this right now, then that means I... I am no longer with you. But on a brighter note, you succeeded! Amazing! Truly, truly, truly outstanding. But alas, I am gone, and that is the way life ebbs and flows, unfortunately. I am sorry I have my illness from you for so long, my boy, but I didn't want to be a burden, you know? Mourning can be a painful process, and the less time you have to dwell on it, well, it, it helps to keep busy. Hence the, the, the challenge that I set you on. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was a good idea, but look, regardless, even if you didn't manage to get all the badges, <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Dylan. Ted. This is what he wanted for you, Dylan. All the money, housing, all that stuff, it's already taken care of. Sally is just a moron, clearly. If she had taken the time to call somebody or a lawyer, <laughs> Idiot. I'm sure by this point you're probably upset, but you've got your whole life ahead of you, Dylan. You're a jump master now. So come on, give me a smile. Huh? Me? I say give me a smile! I'm going to assume you're smiling right now. I'm really hoping the timing of this works out. So come on, Dylan. Get out there and go, go, jump! I really hope this ends up being as cool as I think it's going to be.
Where do you want to go? Siren. Siren. 